Mm-hmm. So. Now, this question is asking, what is an alkoxy group? Okay. So this is kind of more so a review of like uh, organic chemistry. Uh, unfortunately for these, it just really goes down to memorizing and you know implementing. But we can try to break down the words so that way at least we get more familiar with it. Uh, because as you see here, you see oxy, okay, meaning that this group, okay, will have some oxygen. Okay, and what do you see here? ALK. Now this can mean like alkene, alkyne, but point being it's in some type of alkane, some like carbon hydrogen chain. Okay, and but we don't know what it is, so that's what we designate as R. Okay, so this actually, in a sense, is what an alkoxy. Uh, group is, well, you cannot forget that it actually is going to be bonded to something else. So that's what it would look like. But this part here is what they refer to as the alkoxy group. Because, like, let's say, for example, you had um, CH3 here. This is the alkoxy group, okay, bonded to methane. That's how you would describe it. Uh, if you had, you know, this. Same thing, this is the alkoxy group bonded to ethane. Now the reason why I'm drawing these is because as you see, and actually like when they explain the answer, um, they are um, named in specific ways. The alkoxy group, so the part, usually they pick the shortest chain to attach to the uh, oxygen, but that one is referred to as like um, your, huh. that one's referred to as, yeah, exactly, as your alkoxy group. So let me give you an example of some, um, I believe there'll be ethers if I'm not mistaken, but not too focused on the name right now. We just want to make sure we get the, um, or the name of the whole compound. I want to make sure we get the name of the parts down. So if I do an element like this, okay. All right, so now we have, we have to make sure we count three, okay. And then we have one, two, three, four. So this one, okay, three and four. We want to make sure that we still have our group. So this right here, the longer one, will be known as butane. And the shorter one actually is known as propane. So what we do, okay. Uh, we want to drop the a and E, like the propane part, and change that to the loxy ending. Um, so we'll actually have propyloxy. Uh, so I can write that better. Propyloxy butane. Okay. And that will be the name for this compound. But the thing that they're focusing on is the alkoxy group. That would be the protein, I mean propane plus the uh, oxygen. And just to make sure that I am saying that right, let's see, propyl oxy butane. Okay. Oh, propoxy butane. That does sound a lot better. Well, let's see if this, yep, there it is. One, two, three, oxygen, one, two, three, four. So I have to fix that name real quick. So I guess I dropped out the wrong part. It should be at the pro part, not the probe. So it'd be pro. How do they do it again? Pro. As you can see, I need to review this as well. Propoxy. So no propoxy butane, just like that. Oh, I see. Okay. That makes more sense. 
So with that, that is an example of an alkoxy group. The main focus is that usually it is a shorter chain where you deal with simplistic things. I mean things that are more simple. Um, or it can be like, for example, if you have a phenyl ring. Okay. And it's attached to like that. Usually, because the phenyl is like the main part, you'd want to say that's your alkoxy group there. So, because it'll be a lot harder to name whatever this would be with the oxygen. So, with that being said, hopefully that covers it. The main point being is that when you see an oxygen between two chains, like just the chain attached to the oxygen and then another chain continues, that is a form, you have an alkoxy group there. But the thing you should uh, watch out for as well is that when you see something like this, sorry. I know I mentioned that that could be an ether, but this is something you should watch out for where you have, okay. This right here, that's an example of an ester. It's when you have an alcohol group and a carboxylic acid bond. And this is usually what it results in, if I remember correctly. Uh, but the point being is that it does have a different type of naming. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify that, that even when you do see an oxygen there, you want to make sure there's no like carboxylic acid right above it here. You want to make sure it's just the oxygen. So if we're to draw that, you want to make sure it's just that. Okay. So with that being said, this is not an example of an alkoxy group. You may be able to say maybe this is, but I wouldn't trust that. I'd look for things that more look like that. Okay. Yeah, technically this would be viable, but just be hyper aware of the carboxylic acid because it would definitely not be named like this. Okay, so now let's see what we have for what they said. Yep, RO, exactly what we have up here, RO, and um, exactly the alkyl group. And it's attached to oxygen now, exactly. So with that, let's move on to this is correct. And now it's more on the question seven.